John C. Hey, Denise Richards and the lovely Lulu. Welcome back to another All Things Home. This is where we talk about everything home. So thanks for watching our videos. We try to put these out every week. We're just slightly behind today, although we'll still get it out on a Thursday. We're just a little bit behind, but we'll get it out there for you. Uh, happy Easter. We're coming up on Easter weekend. We are. Lulu is sporting her Easter bonnet. It's in case beautiful, you had not Lulu. noticed in her Easter dress. That is beautiful. Yes. Good job. And if you don't have anywhere to go to church on Sunday or if you go Good Friday, our church has that in Naples. Feel free to come and visit with us at Faith Bible Church. Love to have you. Beautiful. Uh, we have a morning service. We'd love for you to come on Easter if that's the day of the year that you go to church. Come. Uh, today is April 6th when we're putting out this video. Today is National Tartan Day. Before I put it on the board, did you know what National Tartan Day was? No, I'm afraid I don't know what a tartan is. So, now, and, I, and I'm probably not saying that right, but if we have any Scottish people out there, oh, we need you tartan, to help us. Tartan, we need maybe. You, maybe you can help us with the pronunciation of this. So, Tartan Day is the Scottish Declaration of Independence Day. It's when they signed it back in... Ah. 1320. Okay. That's a long time ago. That was a very long, long before we got our independence. Way long, like 446 years before our independence. A long time ago. So congratulations to the Scottish. Indeed. Indeed. Today is also <laughs> World Table Tennis Day. Not quite as important as the Scottish Independence Day, but it's also that. I don't know. The people of World Table Tennis might think it's much more important unless Maybe. they're scottish too you play table and then tennis? it's a double winning game. double win yeah that's <laughs> awesome you play table tennis i love ping pong yes do you yes. wonderful it's a good time it is a good time hey last episode if you missed that it was probably the best video ever Every week you say that. I love it because every time the last one is the best one. Yeah. So the last video we talked about curb appeal. Now when you're looking to sell your house, curb appeal is mucho importante. And yes, that is Spanish. And you need to have good curb appeal. And curb appeal typically is not going to cost you too much. Not too much. Look at Lulu's curb appeal. A little hat, a little dress, and she's smashing. That's right. So when you're looking to sell your house, watch that last video that we did from last week at the end of May or March, sorry, and you can learn about curb appeal. <laughs> How important it truly is. It yeah. truly is. All right. Today we're going to talk about the secret to building equity in your home. Ooh. So let's say you already have a home, okay, mm -hmm. and you're paying your monthly payments. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how can you build equity a little bit quicker in that home? I guess first, let's start with this. What is equity in a home? I was just going to say, John. You I know, know you are. I mean, equity is, uh, not everybody understands what that is. No. But if you own a home outright and you own no mortgage on it, then you have 100% equity. If you have a mortgage, that's going to deduct from that equity that you've got. So mm. what you're t getting ready to touch on is... Yes. Um, the bi-weekly mortgage payments that's right. or making an extra mortgage payment per year, they yes. equate the same. That's right. So let's say you have a 30-year loan. If you do what this, they're suggesting in this article that I was looking through the other day, they're suggesting that you make a, instead of the once a month payment, a payment every two weeks. And that basically what Denise already said there, it adds an extra payment over the 52 weeks in a year mm -hmm. to your payments, which means you're paying more in equity. Which, let's say, for instance, your m monthly mortgage payment's $2,000 a month, and you're making that uh, payment every two weeks, then what's going to happen is you're going to have made up that full extra payment for the year, which is really nice. That's basically an extra $2,000 towards equity, paying down what you currently owe on your home. Yep. Which is going to save you, of course, first bullet point is it's going to help you with your interest. Your interest over time, I mean, imagine if you will, you've paid your home off 10 years sooner just by doing that mm -hmm. and 10 years of mortgage payments yeah that's a lot of interest it's a lot of interest that you didn't have to pay mm -hmm. uh, down the road and as you know if you've ever looked at an amortization sheet most of your interest is paid up front in the first few years your bulk of your payment is really going towards your mm -hmm. interest it's a large chunk of it so paying some extra towards that early on and getting rid of your equity or your payment what you owe on the house is going to help you build that as well uh, the equity yep it, tr it really triggers the uh the amortization and what i always like to tell my clients when they want to make an extra payment you get to be the bank you control your interest rate when you do that it also drops your pmi sooner what's pmi mm -hmm. the private mortgage insurance that most conventional lenders are going to charge you each month when you borrow more than 80% of the value or purchase price of the property. 
So if you're accelerating that principal pay down um, by building your equity, the chances of getting rid of that private mortgage insurance early are much greater. Yeah, and just like it says in the name, it's an insurance. So some people, as Denise said, if you didn't put enough down payment down, you're paying this extra insurance. To Yeah, to insure the mortgage company, right, in case of default. Because yes. when you borrow more than 80%, it creates a higher risk to the lender, and that's how they insure themselves. Yeah, which is, to me, probably one of the stronger points of me wanting to pay down on my loan and get below that 80% if I'm above that on what I owe. Mm -hmm. Because... I've seen mortgage, private mortgage insurance be anywhere from $100 to $300 a month, and you may have seen different numbers, higher numbers, but that's what you're paying your lender to insure your, infra, your, your money amounts for your house. Yeah. And so if you can get down below that mark uh, and get rid of that PMI, which you can, it's not like home insurance where you can't get rid of your home insurance until your whole mortgage is paid off, but the PMI, you can get rid it's of It's almost that. a negotiable yeah. um, housing cost, if you will. Yeah, so you're going to be able to get rid of that once you get below. So it's a great, another great reason to make those payments uh, by monthly, and then it will, of course, like we talked about at the beginning of it, help you pay it off sooner. Your mortgage instead of a 30-year loan, if you do this by paying every other week, as Denise just mentioned, you're going to pay it off probably six to seven years earlier than that 30 years. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to add to that? That was really good. I've seen it pay off for even more than earlier than that, 10 years. Even. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Smart. If that's what you want to do, I think it's just a genius way to get it knocked down. And a lot of people get paid every other week. So the practical side mm -hmm. of that, some people get paid every two weeks. Well, my last job I did. I don't know about you. When I worked at Starbucks, I did. When I worked for the phone company every two weeks. You ever worked for a job where you get paid every two weeks? You're looking at me like I'm crazy. It's been a long Am I crazy? time. Yeah. Do you guys get paid every two weeks? Anyways. That's how it was uh, for us. So it was easy, practical-wise, to make payments every two weeks because as soon as your it check came sense. in, then you had sure. that. A great way to budget. Let's talk. Let's go on to the next. Market news. So every month, I love to do my Lee and Collier County video. I just put that out mm. two days ago. So if you're interested on the update, now that we're in April, I do it at the beginning of each month. I put out that video. I'll give a link for you below. Check it out on YouTube. It's about a five-minute video on market stats for Lee and Collier County specifically. It's really good. It's really good, isn't it? I have seen it, and I must say it's excellent. It's Ex excellent. high ranking. Before we, It is high ranking. Before we go, though, today, I want to talk about somebody we've just recently met in our network group, Kristen McRae. Isn't she just awesome? Amazing. Yes. Have you been able to have any one-on-ones with her yet? And Not dive yet. a little bit deeper in? But what little I know so far is very intriguing, and she is somebody we all need to connect with. Yes, and her company's name is, name is Energize Living. Now, what Kristen does, from my understanding, just chatting with her a few times, she helps you get organized, whether it's in your home, whether it's your business, your office space, stuff like that. But what's really cool is she'll come to your location and do a fun training so if you have employees, mm -hmm. she'll come to like a luncheon that you do. If you're in an HOA, she'll set up an event for the members in the community to come and just learn how to get organized, whether it's their kitchen, their bathrooms, their whole home. It's brilliant. It is brilliant. She's also an author. Uh, I read on her bio the other day, she also does a lot of uh, editorials for one of the local Naples uh, news magazines as well, too, which is pretty cool. That is very cool. So it's, she's very connected to the to the local area. She's very connected. So if you want to get connected with somebody who is connected, talk to Kristen. We'll put her contact information below. Energized living. Yeah, I love it. I feel energized just feel saying energized. Just saying it, yes. This has been a great episode. If you it haven't has. liked and subscribed yet, do us a favor, hit that below. Like and subscribe to this video. We would greatly appreciate that. Lulu appreciates it. Yes. And if we don't see you before Sunday, happy Easter. Happy Easter, everyone.